Golden Fox here, and welcome to- It's hard to be enthusiastic when I'm like the only one in here right now. How's it going, guys? It's the 20,000 plus now subscriber special, and I am super stoked. I never thought I'd get here. Like, I never even thought I was gonna have a channel, but then I did, and now I'm at 20,000, because you guys are all awesomely great and wonderful people. But I am so happy to be celebrating this tonight. It's been three years now? And I'm just so happy to have this community that I have, and you guys are all such nice and lovely people, and I couldn't be more grateful for how far I've come and for the support that you guys give me every day. It means the world to me. Anyway, I have really exciting news. At least it's really exciting for me because it's it's a new thing, and I'm trying it for the first time, and it's going to be amazing. Amazing. Boom! Look at these bad babies. We've got amazing and we've got premium grade quality dirt. We have merch now. A very limited amount of merch, however. Um, these two buttons are super limited edition. They are my first merch debut thingies. So they come in very small numbers. So if I were you, I would grab yours now. I will put up pictures of more clearer versions of these on the screen right now so you can see them in a in a picture. Hopefully, a picture will cover my face when that just happened. Editing. You got me, bro? Cool. Thanks, me. So yeah, these are on Etsy.com. You can find me at Nycove underscore the fox, exactly the same as my YouTube channel name. I will put the link in the description below directly to my shop on Etsy. These are about three to four bucks each. Amazing is four bucks. And... Premium grade A quality dirt is three. So these are nice little buttons that you can get. You can put them on your shirt, you can put them on your backpack, you can put them on a lanyard, you can put them on your hair. You can put them anywhere! It's really great. So you should get one, like totally. They're really fun. And they're super limited edition, meaning that after they are gone, you will never see these again. So if these sell out successfully, we will be bringing more merch in the future. Things like t-shirts. Um, sweatshirts, maybe pants, maybe, um, hats, maybe backpacks, but that's way in the future. But if we can sell these out, we will start with things like art and t-shirts and simple things like that. So if you guys want one of these buttons, you can carry on with one of the, you know, most popular phrases that came from this channel. Both very, uh, or something. Then, you should get yourself a button. Premium grade quality dirt. Get yours today. Play some, like, wonderful, like, advert music right here. and my face and we are going to watch some of these lovely favorite moments of the randomness series a series that is really stupid but so near and dear to our hearts we are going to review some of these lovely favorite moments of which you guys have chosen so at the top of the list of randomness best moments we have hashtag get Ennard's hat back slash let me smash and that was suggested by Epic Hellstore Moorhead, and it managed to get its way to the top of the comments in that post. Guys, Michael took my hat. Hashtag get Enner's hat back. There it is. <laughs> Donate now on GoFundMe to help Enner find his hat. <laughs> Just a penny a day can send Enner on his way. 
<laughs> to find his glorious hat companion. That quote originated from Randomness Part 4 um, and the Ennard and Michael Afton cosplays, and that was, um, that was a moment that continued on through at least the next Randomness because I also got the clip from Part 5 where we stated it again at the beginning where we actually found the hat. Oh my god, <laughs> bring it, bring it, <laughs> hashtag, hashtag got enter tap back, need and hat, there... got hat, entered, I got hat, let me smash. <laughs> yep, yeah, and, and there was the, the let me smash at the end, uh, so yeah, the hashtag get enter tap back came from part four, the hashtag got enter tap slash let me smash came from part five. So, thank you so much Epic Hellstorm Warhead for the number one favorite moment in randomness, hashtag get enter tap back and let me smash. Those were some really funny moments that continued on through two parts of randomness, I believe. Maybe it carried on for more than that, but I think it was just part four and five. All right, so we are now going to move on to the second place moment or favorite moment, moment of moment of fancy, moment of m moment of favorite moment of randomness, which was "Do You Even Baby" by Ali Chan. Baby loves me more. Baby loves me. I'm like her bae, <laughs> dude. Do you even baby? I do baby. Oh! <laughs> and the realization that everything just went horribly Got wrong. You on that one. <laughs> no! <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Like, I honestly, I literally, like, in all. In all realness, I didn't actually realize what I had just said sounded so bad until, like, a few seconds later, and then I was like, oh, wait a minute, that's wrong, and then everything just, everything went downhill. That, that was really funny, she did get me on that one, I was not expecting it, and then it happened, and then it became the second favorite randomness moment. So thank you so much, Ali Chan, for that favorite moment, thanks for sharing. So next we are going to move on to third place. Why are you teaching me how to eat a gosh darn- er, no, it's- Why are you teaching me how to eat chicken when you are a garsh- gar <laughs> Why are you teaching me how to eat chicken when you are a gosh darn chicken? From Randomness Part 1, the randomness that started it all. Why are you helping me learn how to eat chicken when you're a gosh darn chicken? Cause it's good! And this is where I leave! Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, and that's, um, that was actually a line that we revisited when we did our farewell episode. Uh, yeah, me and my friend Oodles of Noodles, we redid that scene over in the corner of this room. And I didn't, I don't think I added in the clip of me, uh, saying goodbye to randomness in the Foxy cosplay. I think I just put in the clips when we were out of cosplay. But right then and there, I had said my goodbye to randomness in case I wanted to use that clip. And I was in my Foxy cosplay, and I had bawled my eyes out. So, like, my makeup was running down my face, and it looked like Foxy just went through a super bad breakup. And he looked so emo and sad because I had cried, so my makeup was, like, running down my face and I was like, goodbye randomness! And it was like, it was so sad. Next up, we have the fourth most favorite randomness quote or moment, and that is premium grade A, wait, premium grade A quality dirt. And this was stated by DMCC by the seashore. So this was a moment from randomness part six. It was one of the most popular and one of the most quoted lines in my comment sections every video after this one was posted. Yeah, outside world, look at all this dirt. Qual <laughs> Premium grade A quality dirt, get yours today. There it was. That was the first time it was ever said. I don't know if it was ever said again. I think that was actually the only time it was mentioned. But that line went down in history. So next we have number five, which is... Oh, it's I love eating cupcakes and I'm loved on the internet. Never mind, not gonna bring that up, we're leaving. That is also from Randomness Part 1, and this was stated in the comments by Pastel Lavender. So thank you, Pastel Lavender, for sharing your favorite randomness moment, and we will watch it now. You are having... <laughs> <laughs> I love eating cupcakes, and I 
I'm loved on the internet. Never mind. I'm not gonna bring that up. We're leaving. <laughs> oh no! And then it cuts straight to Bonnie. Oh gosh. Oh no. Oh, Bonnie's a whole other story. Oh lord. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Foxy, that moment right there, that was gold. <laughs> when I made fun of Chica and I brought up the internet and then no one wants to talk about that. So we just, we left that conversation so fast. Fun fact, randomness part one was almost 50% scripted. I know, right? Weird, because it's randomness. You'd think it's supposed to be randomized. But the actual origins of randomness came from us pre-writing a few short skits that all had to do with different things and different characters that we wanted to make into separate videos, but they would have been so short that it would be like two minute videos per each. So we were like, how can we solve this issue? So then we decided to combine all those skits into one video and title it Randomness in FNAF Cosplay. And boom, randomness. So thank you so much, Pastel Lavender, for that favorite moment. So the sixth most favorite randomness moment is is it a pony by olivia ford so this was a moment from randomness part seven where we actually found recovered footage that was like old like randomness part two level of old that we never used so we threw it into randomness part seven so that it could still be a thing that existed on camera good there it is you did what is it is it a pony <laughs> and then it actually turned out to be exotic butters, but I thought it was a pony. <laughs> but yeah, that was that was a funny moment. Um, I miss those cosplays, and I'm not gonna say anything about the books because I'll start crying and you'll start crying and spoilers. But <laughs> these cosplays just make me even more sad now after reading the fourth closet. So I have no feelings anymore. My emotions are gone. My soul is gone. All right, seventh most favorite randomness line or moment was, <laughs> oh boy, this is actually from randomness part eight, which is the, I have a giant mixer in my hand. Why don't you stick your face in there, little Billy, and see if it smells like cheese. And <laughs> this was from a moment in Fred Bear and Enemy, which was one of my favorite things to record with my friend. We decided to be uh, Golden Freddy and Springtrap since we had just recently watched the theory in which they despise each other. So we were like, what if we make them bake a cake together? And even better, let's make it devil's food cake. Don't keep the devil waiting. <laughs> Oh god. I'm not sticking my face in there while you have that. Okay, fine, here. You think I haven't learned anything from that? You're not gonna... I have a giant mixer in my hand. Why don't you stick your face in there, little Billy, and see if it smells, it smells like, like cheese? <laughs> it still smells like cheese. <laughs> it still smells like cheese. No, okay. Out of character, that cake batter, like, to me literally smelled like cheese like it's like you know like the um the spray cans that have like the God, is it like cheese whiz or cheese whip cheap whip with cheese cheese that comes in a can that you spray out like that really disgusting plastic cheese that you spray out of a can oh god i hate it so much that's exactly what the cake batter smelled like thank you so much crystal the wolf we will be moving on now to the ninth most favorite moment in randomness, which is Baby wants some milk. I'm gonna kill you! Um, headphone warning, by the way, for this one. Oh, well, I'm going in a corner and you can't stop me. Ow! Baby! <laughs> baby! Oh, gosh. Come on, baby, come on. No. <laughs> oh, gosh. Baby. Baby. Baby wants some milk. I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> oh my ears gosh i don't know how you guys survive half these randomness episodes because there's so much screeching involved i try to put headphone warnings now but oh it doesn't really save you at all but this was the eighth most favorite randomness moment so thanks to you blurry is an addict with a pen all right we are moving on to the ninth most favorite randomness moment which is by the lps angel 101 so yeah and this is, is it possible to have bloopers in a randomness video? 
Very much yes. So this was when we were in our Michael and Ennard cosplays, and boy were we a dynamic duo in those cosplays. Oh, go, go away! away. Thank me! <laughs> is, it, is, is it possible to have bloopers in a randomness video? She just jumps out of nowhere. Yes. <laughs> it is very possible to get bloopers in a randomness video when things are scripted. And also the fact that all randomness episodes are basically just a compilation of what would be considered bloopers. Thank you very much, the LPS Angel 101 So Yeah, for the ninth most favorite randomness moment from part four. So we are on our tenth most favorite randomness episode, and this is another recent one from part 8, which is the Manly Screams by Foxstar the Gaming Fox, and this is actually from the shaving cream fight in part 8, which was super fun to record. It was literally one of the best moments ever. Probably one of my favorites, to be honest. Oh my god. <laughs> You don't have any reason. You built robo children. I don't like you built robo children. Oh gosh. Oh god. This shaving cream was actually so thick and slimy. It was awkward. It felt so gross. This is the real battle. Feel the pain. Yay, you ever <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez, this whole fight was just oh, it's pure gold. <laughs> oh god. Daddy needs a break. Daddy needs a break. <laughs> Manly whimper of fear. Oh my god. Those shaving cream scraps left stains in the street for like three weeks. Oh, it's right here. She slaps me. <laughs> that hurt so bad. But yeah, oh, that whole shaving cream fight was just one of my personal favorite moments to record. Uh, just running around the street like a bunch of maniacs, spraying shaving cream at each other. Thank you so much, Foxstar the Gaming Fox, for the 10th most favorite randomness episode moment. Alright, 11th most favorite moment in randomness is... I'm definitely not a killer animatronic in the middle of someone's front yard, and this was by FNAF Queen in the comments, so thank you so much, FNAF Queen, for sharing your favorite moment. Felicia, go to give me some premium quality. Oh, that was one of someone's Never favorite mind. moments too. It I was don't a, like that. it was an honorable I don't like mention. The dangers of the outside world during daytime. I'm hiding in a house. Goodbye. <laughs> Round number two. We're gonna try and go outside. <laughs> Here it See? is. This is how you live. <laughs> this is how you live life. Okay. Oh my. This is how you do it. Am I hidden? No one will ever suspect me. I'm definitely not a killer animatronic in the middle of someone's front yard! Oh gosh. <laughs> the sound this of the dirt the hitting book, the car. <laughs> uh. And cut! Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, after we recorded that, there was so much dirt everywhere. It was like all stuck to my back underneath the corset. It was in my wig, it was all over the tail, it was like in my pants, it was it was everywhere. It was so uncomfortable. But like I had to hop in the shower after this scene to get all of the dirt off of me before we could continue with the episode that we were filming for. Thank you very much, FNAF Queen, for sharing your favorite moment or one of your favorite moments. Um, so next we have the twelfth most favorite moment in randomness, which is marriage counseling with Helpy. And this was uh, by Toy Chica, the FNAF nerd, in the comments. So thank you for sharing your favorite moment. 
This was actually one of my favorites too because it just went so out of hand so quick. It was unscripted. We just came up with the base idea of Helpy giving like relationship advice to like Chica and Foxy like as a joke and then it oodles and noodles for you. She takes everything from zero to a hundred in like 20 seconds. So uh, here we go. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Oh boy, here we go. Oh god. This is. And the pizzeria. What happened now? What were you two doing, doing now? now? <laughs> I couldn't take her seriously. I you died. Seriously? <laughs> what were you two doing again? <sighs> Don't all speak up! <laughs> oh, this. You think I'm gonna listen to a little bear? Honey, my name is Helpy for a reason. Why are you laughing? <laughs> you two, you have a crush on her. The only reason why you're being so mean to her, I know you're gay. I know you like Bonnie. It's I knew it. I, I knew, knew it. it. <laughs> See? Now she's not all over again. You're gonna be gay. Just express yourself. Just express yourself. Love the bunny. And you're gonna be forever alone. Just stop trying with him. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, it still brings tears to the eyes, man. Gosh, that was that was such a fun thing to edit later. Like me and Oodles were sitting on the couch because usually after we record for a day, we sit together and like she watches me like commence the editing process, and like we got to that part and we just uh, we died. It's 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 probably one of my favorites. It's so, so funny. So thank you, Toy Chica the FNAF nerd, for sharing your, or one of your favorite moments of randomness. It's one of my favorites too. So next we have the 13th most favorite moment in randomness, which is one of my least favorite moments to record, the lighter in my Springtrap cosplay. <laughs> oh. Oh, it almost happened. <laughs> and then I had it backwards. <laughs> oh my god. My gosh recording that absolutely sucked but watching it back later almost made it completely worth it just to laugh at my own suffering because it was so hilarious oh my gosh that that is uh, that is probably one of my also favorite moments to watch not to have recorded but to watch later <laughs> so thank you very much animal una that was by animal una by the way so next up we have Okay, Stripey, and then the whole righty argument that happens between Marionette and Lefty, and this was suggested by Vanessa Barter in the comments. Oh, do not upset Stripey over there. There it is. Fine, then- Did you just call me Stripey? I called you Stripey, because it's accurate. You just called me Stripey. Yes, I did. Okay, righty. Oh, you did not. Oh, you Are did we, not. You did not go there. You did not go <laughs> I did. Friday. What, what's Friday. going on here? You want to fight? <laughs> you you want to fight? Friday, Friday likes to fight. <laughs> <laughs> the hair whip at the end. The hair whip. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that was a. Uh, Lefty and the marionette together was such a good section in Randomness Part 7. We are on 15th. 
most favorite randomness moment, and this was suggested by Freya and Brittany. Mangle's love note to Foxy. A love note from Mangle. Oh boy, look, the whole internet is squeeing because everyone ships Fangle. God, I was so salty about it. <laughs> You might be very confused, that's okay. Uh, you will pay, Clarissa the Watermelon screamed. Oh, it's Clarissa the Watermelon? <laughs> you need part she two, part started one. to roll quickly towards the couple, threatening to crush and kill them. <laughs> no, Brianna. Cameron the knife yelled as Clarissa rolled over oh to Brianna gosh. the pineapple. This was so painful. But instead of... I'm really feeling this in my heart. <laughs> no, yeah. This really sells my love for you. <laughs> oh yeah, that was uh, that was something. Um, <laughs> oh gosh, that was uh, that was a painful and slow moment of randomness. But I feel like that's kind of what made it so funny was that it had like nothing to do with what you thought it was going to have to do with. So it was like a shutdown in such an awkward and slow way that it had to be funny. <laughs> we are on the 16th most favorite randomness moment, and this was by Just For Fun Videos, and they said, It's a good thing my ancestors are good at running. Does this look good? We have to put the burp on that? Why are you showing them my bow? Because it's the prettiest part about you. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, that was that was exciting. It was painful running out onto the street like unexpectedly in bare feet, but hey, I didn't die, so that's good. Thank you very much, uh, just for fun videos for recommending that favorite moment of yours. So the seventeenth most favorite randomness moment is by Mangle Star. And they said that Foxy's Berries, or guess what brand of berries it is, was one of their favorite moments. Uh, guess, guess, guess what? Guess what brand of strawberry I am eating? Guess, guess, guess what? Guess what brand? Guess what brand? It's, it's Foxy. <laughs> I dropped my berry in the sink. It was a good berry too. I was sad. And she just grabs a chip and runs. <laughs> I'm sorry. This episode was one of the most fun to edit because we had such a variety of characters in there and we had been gathering material for this episode since like June or July or even before that. So we had been working on this surprise for a long time. So thank you very much Manglestar for sharing your favorite moment in the randomness series. Thank you so much to everybody in the comments, even those who weren't mentioned. Thanks to everyone who shared their favorite moments. I appreciate you guys taking the time to do that. And I'm happy that randomness has been a huge part of your happiness and laughter and on certain days and sometimes even I go back and watch a few of them to like, you know, reminisce in the good times with the old friends and everything that have now either moved away or grown distant, but hey, it's good memories, very, very good memories, so thanks for sharing them with me. For 18, I kind of combined two areas of randomness, one into kind of one section. I was looking for the rabbit noise that I made. That was one of my favorite moments, and I saw it mentioned in the comments as well. Or you get the lovely screamer, it's just like, Meow! Here's another talk with fun time. Oh, yes! <laughs> A lot of that happens around here. It's normal. Baby will go off and twerk and have a good time. God, my oh, wig was wigs. so gross. Is that your hands up? Both of those wigs were so gross. That's how you know none of us are okay, and you should probably go get some. Help. Yeah, that was. <laughs> oh gosh, that moment brought tears to our eyes as soon as we watched it back. Like we stayed up till three in the morning editing randomness part one together, and we just played that moment over and over again until we were like doubled over crying our eyes out. Someone else, or a lot of people, mentioned the entirety of Fred Baron Enemy, so let's just watch a few minutes of that, because why not? Hi Recalculating. Guys, welcome to Fred Baron, set of Frenemy. This is, uh, this is a very fun, happy 
happy oh, place God. where fantasy and fun come from where I come from, and this is where we do cake. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to Fred Bear and <laughs> We are here today to celebrate a PG thirteen randomness episode where we make <laughs> There, was that better for you? Was that intense uh, enough for you? Hey, hey Spring Trap, it's devil's food. Oh my gosh. Yeah, just Fred Bear and Enemy in general. Can I just vote that as one of the best moments in all time? Was just that in those, all of those sections. I know it's not necessarily a moment, but it's a section. And it's one of my favorites. It was so fun to record and even more fun to edit later. It, it was just great. So for number 20, our I final one. With the shape of I chose this one myself. I did see a few comments about it, but this one was one that I just really liked because I still reference it to this day, and so does Oodles of Noodles whenever she's over. You, but you don't really have so. a shape. The FNAF porno is made, a Scott Cawthon cries. I forgot I said Are that! You hugging on Ballora? Maybe. What if I oh, here we go. That? Then you're. Fo um, I think you're Fox, the first Fox, one. Fox Laura, all the way. Bloxy, all the way. Bloxy. <laughs> Roblox, all the way. <laughs> there it is, kids. Roblox all the way. The number one ship in the FNAF fandom. So I think I'm personally gonna vote that number twenty of the list because it is one of my favorite moments. Roblox all the way, kids. It's great. I love it. Alright guys, so that was our top 20 favorite randomness moments provided by you and sort of by me as well. So thank you all so much for sharing your favorite moments and it was so nice going back and reliving the memories and cringing or laughing again. It was a lot of fun. It's so nice to like go back and reminisce and look at all the fun memories and all the old friends and it was such a good point in the channel. So thank you all for supporting me through that and thanks for celebrating with me today. We have merch, we have top 20 randomness moments, it's a great day guys. Just a reminder, check out Etsy, Nycope underscore the Fox for these brand spanking new shiny pins with premium grading quality dirt or amazing. Get yours today. Tell a friend. Tell a friend of a friend. Tell your dog. Tell your cat. Tell anyone who would like one of these snazzy buttons and get yourself one too because they are super limited edition and you may never see them again. So, please. Get yourself one before they're gone. And also, thanks for joining me today for celebrating 20k part 1. And I will see you tomorrow with more festivities. Stay tuned. I love you guys. Goodbye!